Hi there, my name is Alicia. I am one of the therapeutic art instructors at Culture for One. Today we are going to be making a raised painting using salt. Um, it's kind of this 3D painting where you could write a word or draw a picture. Here's an example where I just wrote my name. And what I did was used salt um, and then painted over the salt, which is kind of what gave it that tie-dye kind of effect. So what we need is paper, a water cup and paintbrush, watercolor paint, glue, um, just like regular liquid glue in, in the bottle would probably work better than like in a cup with paintbrush, and salt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to draw. So the example I used was my name, um, which you can do, or you could write another word, maybe something that would give you hope or like an uplifting message. Um, or a picture. So I'm gonna draw something. I think it'll probably work better if I draw something simple, just like a simple design. So I'm gonna draw a flower. So what I'm doing is I'm just using the glue, squeezing it right out of the bottle to draw my design. I don't wanna to use too much, um, but I don't want there to be like spots that there is no glue. Okay, here is how my picture turned out. I know that's a little hard to see because it's white on white. So then I'm going to sprinkle salt over it. I don't use a ton of salt. Um, you just kind of want it to stick to the glue, just like if we were using glitter or something like that. So I'm just I'm using a plate to dust um, the salt off onto. You can use another piece of paper. I'm just kind of like gonna spread it around to make sure that all of the glue is covered in salt. So then this is what my picture looks like right now. I'm gonna get some of the salt out from under the paper. Okay, so using my watercolor palette, I'm gonna put just a little bit of water, um, not too much. And then I'm gonna, if you can give this just a minute to dry, it'll probably be a little better. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of the paint right on the salt and the salt is going to absorb the water and the paint. And then if you want to change colors, it kind of just mixes together really nicely. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So mine's still a little bit wet. Um, which I should have I should have waited a little bit longer for the glue and the salt to dry. So if you guys have, if you guys can do that, I would recommend giving it a little extra time. See how the colors are kind of blending into each other?
so you can see where we're at. So the colors I'm choosing are kind of, um, I like the, I like how it looks a little bit like a rainbow or tie dye. So what I'm trying to do is choose a color and then choose a color that's similar to it. So, um, like for an example, I was using green, like a dark green, and then I did a lighter green and then a yellow and then an orange and then a red. So the colors look a little bit like they're blending, like they're blending into one another. You don't have to do that, of course. I just wanted to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm brushing through this pretty quickly, which you guys can take as much time as you need. Um, you could also, if you wanted to do, draw some other things around, do that too. But here is how my painting came out. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks guys.